one of the best bikers in this country, and Steve Cobble from the hot young band Clark Nova on OTR. Off the Record with Michael Landsberg is brought to you by the Keg Steakhouse and Bar. For great steaks, good friends, see you tonight. Amazing week happening, and look for it this Thursday, the return of Gene Mack. We're glad this guy is here before he heads off to Sydney. He will represent and be the favorite in the light heavyweight division. Great to welcome a great boxer, a great guest, and a great fashion designer, Troy Ross. Nice to see you, Troy. Nice to see you, too. We much. have so many boxers who are fashion designers on this show. So many of them. <laughs> Melanie McQuaid, you kicked ass in the road championships in Peterborough, where you play sixth at the Road Nationals and fourth in the mountain bike team. Also the co-founder of RaceGirl.com. Nice to see you, Mel. Nice to be back. And great to welcome this guy. We've been trying to get him for a while. Steve Kalba is his name. He's from the hot young band, Clark. Mark Nova, their lead singer. You ready to go, Steve? Certainly am. Let's do it. Today, we could be sitting on a powder keg if one former U.S. Olympic figurehead's allegations are true. Anyone ever see The Insider? And what was Greg Mons thinking when he made that crack about Vaseline and the refs? Anyone ever see Cruising? And is college sports about getting into the top ten and Playboy, for that matter? Anyone ever see Scent of a Woman? But first, the grizzly Sharif Abdul Rahim has been added to the U.S. Olympic team. Or, excuse me, the Canadian... Yeah, the U.S. Olympic team. I was thinking, wow, I'd love for him to play for Canada. Here was his reaction. This is, without a doubt, a dream come true. To represent your country in the Olympics is a great honor, unquote. Who can argue that? But what's interesting is his spot was available because that guy, Kobe Bryant, turned the team down because he was getting married this summer. So is Abdul Rahim. Who do you respect more? The guy who's focused on the wedding ring or the guy who's focused on the Olympic rings? Both. I mean, that's a totally personal decision, and uh, I mean, if he thinks if Kobe turns it down, he just says, you know, I'm going to take time for my family. Then that's great for him. I think I think I prefer the fact that Kobe's reason is his family to the other players that have said that you know I want to focus on recovery from an injury because I'm more focused on the NBA season. So they're more playing for the money and they're not really getting involved in the the excitement of playing for your country and the nationalism and what we saw from Wayne Gretzky at Nagano when he was in tears because they didn't win a medal. That kind of stuff is I think, what I want to see. I think Kobe's more um, he's more looking at it like USA is going to win anyway. That's why he's, he thinks he could take time off. He'll do it in the next four years because he'll be there. But isn't there an obligation to play for your country? Or let me ask this. Is there an obligation? Rick Fox, for instance, Los Angeles Lakers forward. Now, God knows there's not a lot of Canadians who play in the NBA. He was asked to play in the Canadian team. He says, no, nope, I had a baby a couple of months ago. I want to stay home with my family. Is there an obligation to play on behalf of your flag? Well, I think that it's just these players are getting so much money to play in the NBA, and it's all about money for them. They've just lost sight of the fact that the Olympics so then you is would the say there is an obligation. athletic event. Or there should be a moral obligation is what you're saying. I think that they should just realize that the Olympics is, is more important. It's less money, but it's more important because it's not, about your country. And yeah, not to mention he's supposedly uh, filming episodes of Oz. Right. So it's not, I'm sure he's not doing that for charity. Right. But, Troy, you have worked all of your life to compete in the Olympic Games. Do you feel as though this is a personal thing where, okay, that's what I've embraced, or should all Canadians feel when the opportunity calls, you got to go? Yeah, definitely when the opportunity calls, you should go. But um, I think Kobe's just looking at it like this. Um, basically, he knows that he can go the next, he feels that he can go in the next four years. I think I'd turn him down, though. I think if I was on the U.S. Olympic Committee and he turned me down once, I'd tell him next time, forget it, you had your chance. I don't know you why know. I didn't reschedule the wedding. Why didn't he schedule a wedding so he could go to the Olympics? Why does it have to be then? I think it's, the Olympics comes every four years. You can what? get married whenever you want. <laughs> okay, there's a it's, situation with the Montreal Alouettes I want to throw out. His name is Neil Ford. He's their offensive lineman who had not missed a game since 1994 when they played in Baltimore. But he wanted to return to Houston for the birth of his second child. As a result, the Montreal Alouettes have put him on the suspended list. Did he have an obligation to stay with the team because they felt they needed him or an obligation to go to his wife and say to the team, too bad? 